Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to the episode of Well, good morning, folks, and well, <clears throat> episode two on soft plastic bait making TV. Today we're going to cover a couple molds, uh, a couple molds. The dude injector I said I was going to touch on soon. We're going to handle that right now. Um, today the main focus is uh, is molds. Um, this mold was sent to me by a friend on Facebook. His name was Stephen Williams. Um, he sent this mold to me <clears throat> to shoot for a little content. And in turn, he's going to get the referrals for this mold, which will be in the description. This is another version of the 4-inch stick bait mold. Some fat guys. Uh, this was sent to me by Anthony Pendergrass, always also on Facebook. And I think I failed to mention that this style is a bass tackle. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go over a few differences in them that I can see just visually, uh, real quick while I got <clears throat> this bass tackle one in my hand. First thing I can see is uh, the way that these are held together for you to shoot them. This would be this would be a stud like this that would be in here permanently. Then they would just be a wing nut. There'd be a wing nut on the other side just to cinch them down tight. He did the same thing that I did, which I thought was kind of cool. But he took them out because uh, and then he just used the little T nut or whatever they call this one, thumb thumb nut, thumb bolt. They use this in it. He used that. That's the same thing I do too. I take the wing nuts off and you can use anything you want. But uh, let's look at this real quick on the inside. And now what we're going to focus on is the side that's vented, the style of the bait, and uh, I'll get both of these side by side so you can, you can see them side by side. This one looks like it has a wide flat vent, got relief vents in between each one, each bait, uh, all across the bottom it's vented. Very, very well vented mold. I haven't shot this one, so I can't speak for this one yet. Um, one thing I noticed is there's no egg sac, which, hey, that's fine, you know. Uh, visually, you might like egg sac. Visually, you might not like egg sac. So, uh, that's the bass tackle one. Um... Doesn't look like the back side's finished. It looks just like a, a stock aluminum. There's no finishing on it. So that's the Bass Tackle 4 inch. Stick bait mold. I'll put a link to that down in the description also. Now we're going to move on to the fat guys fishing. We'll go to the vented side on this one also. Um, Backside looks, it's hard to say on this one. This one's been, uh, this one's been used, so I really don't want to know. I really don't want to say if these are finished on the backside or not. Just like visually looking at that, I would say they're not. Um, I'll show you why I'll find one that's actually is. And I'll show you the difference. You know what this one actually might be i don't know anyways i guess i really don't matter but uh visually you can see there's a different setup on the runner you know this is what makes each company their own they have their own their own little system of things they do to make make their molds uh as you can see the vent lines here 
relief lines in the middle of each bait. Uh, visually on the bait itself, I can see already there is an egg sack in this one. Um, I might be wrong, but this one looks like it's going to be a little, a little thicker bait, a little more girth to it. But anyways, um, that's the two molds. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll set this down. I'm going to get set up on the uh, on top of the bench up here, but we're going to point down to the action. And we're going to actually make uh, some green pumpkin magic, I think is what they call it. Or what is what they call it? Magic crawl. We're going to make some magic crawl. I'm going to share my recipe with you. And uh, if you like it, you, you're welcome to use it. If you don't, then just don't use it. I guess that's where that goes. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put you up here. We're going to get down, looking down at the action. And uh, we'll, we'll see you then. All right, folks, we're back. Hopefully you can see everything here. Got my injector, got my colorant. Got my flake. I already added a colorant to it. Um, what I used was Green Pumpkin 109 from Lure Works. Hopefully you can see that. That's what we used. We went 20 drops per cup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some blue highlight. We got that from Do It Molds. We're going to add, uh, I like mine a little heavy. We're going to add two dashes. Two dashes of this little highlight. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna stir that in before we heat this up. Um, what that does is it helps avoid clumping. It's, it seems to me like it gets mixed in better. So we're just going to stand here. We're going to mix this up. And uh, be right back. Alright, and we're back just like that. And uh, hopefully you can see that blue sheen in there. We're going to throw this in the microwave and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Alright, y'all, we're back. So, got this out the microwave, got everything, uh, we had a few air bubbles, so we let them rise to the top and uh, we pulled them off, which is sitting right here, you know, and uh, if y'all want to learn how to do that without a vacuum chamber, you can go back to episode one and I kind of touch on that a little bit. So, uh, I don't know if you can see here or not, let me bring this camera down maybe. Uh, I think it's, uh make quite a transition it's got a little heat through it so uh, I'm gonna set you back up right here and uh, what we're gonna do now we want to add black flake just black flake you can use whatever size you want for me I like the 040 or 035 whatever your company calls medium I go one quarter teaspoon of that and then I like the zero one five and also go one quarter teaspoon of that so that's that's a half a teaspoon for two cups of plastic all right so next step we're going to go ahead and mix that glitter down in there then we're going to pick up this do it injector we're going to talk about that just for a second we'll touch on that and then we'll get to injecting these molds All right, so this is a dual injector, a six ounce injector. This is a thin walled injector. Let me grab a bass tackle over here. So this is a this is a thin walled injector, which means that this is going to heat up a lot quicker than this one, which is a bass tackle thick wall injector. 
Lama. So hopefully y'all can see that difference. This is a this is a little three ounce from Bass Tackle. But uh, anyways, we'll get past that real quick. And this is the way I use this injector. And this is why I love this injector. People might think I'm crazy. I really don't care what you think. But uh, this is what I do with this injector. I've got two cups of plastic in here. And I've run this in and out a couple times. You heard the air come out. Probably seen it. So I'm going to run this in and out here a couple times. The reason why we're doing that is to heat this tube up. I hope that tube is already hot. So we're going to go ahead and draw up this plastic. And we're going to shoot it in the molds. I'm not sure if we'll get both of them out of this one injector. But we will find out. If not, no biggie. Uh, looks like we might have made that. And no, we didn't. Hey, what happened? Just pour, pour back in there, top that bad boy off. And this is why I love this injector. So I'll put it back in here. I'll just run this uh, run run this in and out a few times. Get a little bit of heat more up in there, a little bit more heat in there. What I'll do is I'll take an injector and I'll just leave it in that cup. Let this cool down. This one's gonna be a failure, but we'll still be able to look at the base it makes. Hopefully it filled up a few cavities and we'll shoot this these two cups all the way through this. Next time we know we gotta go back in the cup before we go back in that second mold. This is the first time I shot these molds together, so that's all I'm learning, right? We're just gonna top that one back off again. But if you notice I left that injector in that cup, make sure it's away from you. Another tip. Don't leave these in the cup when you're playing around. Whenever you get done stirring that, take that knife out. Throw it on the bench because you have a high chance of fumbling around on your bench and that knife be in there. And you bump that knife the right way, then guess what's next? You'll be wearing that. So what I do is I like kind of get that back out the way where I really can't, can't tamper with that any. So I'll just leave that set there a second. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and unmold this one, demold this one, and see what kind of bait it pulls out. It's going to be a foul. We fell on this. That's what we do in life. We fell. But we learn. I just learned that i got to go back in there and grab some more plastic before I go back in this mold. So, we, we failed, we learned, and <clears throat> we'll call it a success. Right? That's what, that's what I want to call it. I'm going to call it a, a success. So let's see if we got anything out of this mold at all. Yeah, it looks like we did. Looks like we got a couple, couple bottom ones out of there. I'm going to pluck them off. And uh, since this is a single collar, we can go back, back in that cup later and remount that. So hopefully... You can see the collar now. It's a, it's a green pumpkin. It has uh, that blue highlight in it. Maybe I'll turn it over here. Maybe you can see that blue highlight. A little bit. That blue sheen in there. And then, uh, when you look through it, it's pretty, fairly transparent. You know, we could go a lot more opaque with that for sure. Hopefully I just didn't bond, y'all. So, okay, we got two baits out of it, right? We got two baits. Hey, that's two baits we didn't have before. The way you look at things, y'all, it really is. We'll go ahead and get this one. Now, don't, don't forget that injector's still sitting in that cup in that hot plastic. And I, this is the reason why I love this doing it, this thin walled injector. Because once you get heat in them, uh, you can just run them until you can't pull the plastic back up in, in the tube, you know. Alright, so now we're, we're on to the fat guys mold. Get that one out the way. Well, we definitely got this one shot good.
this one feels fine um, and this is the base from it as you can see right there it probably looks pretty blue like I say I like my magic crawl fairly blue but when we take that out of there it's going to lose some of that some of that blue quality to it in some light here and then yeah upside down everything we have mess still y'all that's that one that's that mold so we're gonna just throw these molds back together real quick hang this one up and then uh we'll run these molds until we're out of plastic and then we'll be back and we'll show you the bait side by side what it produces I'll be right back. All right, folks, there you go. That guy's four inch stick. Bash tackle four inch stick. If y'all want this four inch style bait, but not the mold, hit up Anthony Pendergrass or Titan Lures on Facebook. If you want this style of bait, which is the bash tackle mold and not the mold, you can uh, hit up Stephen Williams on Facebook. I'll put a description, put a link in the description. Y'all can uh, hit them up, or if y'all want the molds, I'll put the links down there for them too. Uh, just want to make a note, this isn't a competition between molds. This is molds that these guys was gracious enough to send me and put trust in me that I would send these molds back, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these ready, send them back, these few little baits I made. I'll sell for my little bit of time. This is uh this is it. Uh the rest of it will be going in the open pour molds, which I had some some stuff from yesterday. But uh what you see is is what I made. Molds are empty, there's nothing in there. They're ready to go back home. So hey, we appreciate Anthony and Steve for sending these molds. And y'all have a good day, alright? Also, y'all let me know which one you would you would uh which mold you would buy would it be the fat guy's mold because it has an egg sack a little different shape a little tapered tail on it or would it just be this fast tackle one y'all y'all leave a comment down below i know which one i would get and uh that's not really what matters so y'all have a good day we'll catch you on the next one peace